Hello, welcome back to a new YouTube video. Oh my god, too much lightning. So today it's Sunday and Sunday means SPD day. Um, squat bench deadlift. Very excited, not a really big day for the lift, but, also, but always a very important day. Right now I'm making lunch. That's the plan, lunch. Um, not having much groceries right now. I'm not going to the grocery store because there is no time. Um, so I'm just trying to put something together. Um, on SBD trainings, I try to give a less, of, give a bit less fucks about what I eat. Of course, it's always reaching my protein goal and stuff, but I sometimes I eat a bit more carbs um, as usual. So that's important. So I can live good. I can feel good and I can feel strong. Um, plan is to um, take you with me to my SBD training. I'm gonna eat my lunch. Let's go. Welcome to the third summer vlog. I'm sorry, but Come on, protein bread with bacon, some sauce and some greens. Shut up, this is good, this is freaking good. Did you gotta be a little, little mental, I think, to do what I did. I, I, I don't wanna like sound crazy, but you have to be a little fucked up. The fucking mindset of like getting up every day and pushing yourself. And you're eating 12 to 16 ounces of meat. And, you know, 100 to 150 grams of carbs every meal, and you're doing that seven times, and you do it day in, day out. You gotta have a very simple mindset. You know, you can't be social, you can't be out doing a lot of other activities. So you put on the blinders and you have tunnel vision on what that ultimate goal is. I was always on track with everything. I mean, I, everything was structured. I lived in a fucking box in order to be the best, meaning I had no outside. People would call me with their problems, I'd hang up on them. Like the phones were, were off, don't bother me with negative shit. And I just went at it. Like, that's all I cared about. Like, that was what my life was like. It was, it was like, go full fucking throttle every day. That discipline was there. I always tell everyone, it wasn't about the body, it was about the mind at first. But I trained my ass off. For me, I just love to train. Like, that's, that's what separated me from, like, most guys. There was times where I almost passed out training. I'm lunging with, you know, 225 on my back in the parking lot. And I remember just, like... That's the bike. <sighs> and that's that was what the... my mindset. That was how I, like, mind <laughs> She can't get it on <laughs> my knees, but you see that it's good. So funny, so it's... Let's go. All your strength. Keep them being fast. But I was also a I was known as a She's gonna explode. I was also stubborn as hell, right? I, mean, I, I just, I was told I couldn't do this, I couldn't do that. I was told I wouldn't be a good pro. I was told I'd never turn pro, never win the Olympia, never win it more than once. After I lost it, they said that I'd come back and win it again. So I think a lot of that's a little ego too. I mean, you have to have a little ego to be able to do what I do and be great at it. You gotta do what's your passion. Otherwise, you're never gonna succeed at it. You're never gonna stay with it. You're never gonna commit to it. She's you're never to gonna give your full towards that goal. I'll, I'll say this without arrogance. Exciting. Jake is the greatest bodybuilder of all time. I never had a lot of self-doubt. You know, people look at his arrogance and, and I'm just so confident that maybe sometimes I come off as that, but um, I've been knocked out enough times and, and came back from it that I just I just never gave up. And I always believed in myself. And, I mean, I was so disciplined, man. There was no bodybuilder on this fucking planet that was more disciplined than I was at that time. I felt like a fucking machine, man. I, everything just clicked. Like I told you, I could do anything. I went in the gym and I trained with lightweights. I trained with heavyweights. It didn't matter what I did. Everything just clicks. Ronnie's been here winning the show for the past, uh, how many years, Ronnie? Six. Six years. But this is my town, my home, my place. 
Uh, it takes a lot of time, but I'm dedicated. And I was just so young and just, um, I was so, you know, naive. I really didn't know much about anything. I really didn't know how to pose. I really didn't know anything, but I had the physique. I had the structure. And once I learned how to eat um, and learned how to, you know, train properly and you know, I wanted to be, I wanted to be the best. My dad just, you know, my dad was a pusher, man. I hated my dad a lot of times early in my life because he would just make me work and he taught me to be a machine, you know? And it really gave me the, the work ethic to be who I am as a bodybuilder and, you know, to be relentless and, and had to learn the value of working hard to achieve certain things. And, and I knew um, going through the bodybuilding, it wasn't gonna be easy. He's like, I'm telling you, you can beat Ronnie Coleman. Jay, I'm telling you, you're going to beat this guy. I'm telling you, Jay, you're going to beat this guy. So in the lineup, when I was standing next to Ronnie, people are like, holy shit, Jay's beating Ronnie Coleman from the front. It's the first time in my career that I actually knew, shit, I'm going to win the Mr. Olympia contest. I knew myself I would win it. Um, and I knew in 2006, I knew 100% I was going to win the Mr. Olympia in 2006. I had no doubt in my mind. But every year I watched Ronnie stand next to me and before he fell on the ground and he cried, he was scared.